All right, dudes, that's it for that guy. But now let's rock number two. Here's number two. It's going to be almost the exact same idea. I get an income at a constant rate of $1,200 at 7%. How long do I have to get this money in order for the present value to be $4,000? All right, so let's fill in the same crap that we did before. Um, here's what we know. We're going to have the present value, which is $4,000, equals integral from 0 to M. But now here's the thing that we don't know, dudes. We don't know how long we invest the money for. Because, in fact, that's what they ask. They say, how long do I have to invest it for? So M stays M. We don't know what we're going to plug in for that. But we can plug in for everything else. The income stream is 1200 and then we get e to the minus 0 0.07 tdt. All right, dudes, based on the problem, that's the sucker that we write down. And now we want to solve this, but here's the part that you're not going to like. The part that you're not going to like is that you can't use a calculator to solve this. And actually, that's why this is one of the most important examples that you're going to see. It's because uh, you can't use a calculator to solve it, and that means that people might enjoy putting this kind of problem on a test. So make sure you know how to do this. Because you don't know what the value of m is, we can't just plug this stuff into a calculator. So here's what we got to do. We're going to do the integral by hand. So in order to figure out this value of this integral, we're just going to take the antiderivative. And here's what we can do. We can bring the 1,200 outside, 0 to m, e to the minus 0 0.07 t dt. And that should still be equal to 4,000. All right, now what we're trying to do is actually evaluate this integral. So it helps a little bit to pull that 1,200 outside. But here's what we're going to get. 4,000 equals 1,200. 1,200, not 12,000. There we go. And now, dudes, when you take the antiderivative of e to the stuff, what happens is you multiply by 1 over the inside, and then you still get e to the stuff. And we have to evaluate this from... 0 to m. So dudes, this is what we get so far. Now we still need to go ahead and evaluate because here's what we've done. We had an antiderivative, we took the antiderivative, but we haven't actually plugged in the endpoints yet. So let's go ahead and plug in those endpoints and see what happens. We get 4,000 equals 1,200 times, oh and let's pull out that uh, minus 0 0.07 on bottom. So we get that junk times, and now uh, here's what we're going to do. We're going to plug in um, m, and then we're going to plug in 0, and we're going to subtract. Now, I already pulled out the minus 0 0.07, so the only thing I'm plugging it into is this e business. So here's what I get. e to the minus 0 0.07 times m minus e to the 0. And dudes, that's just me plugging in m, and then plugging in 0, and then subtracting. All right, let's simplify this and see what happens. Um, we get 4,000 equals. This number ends up being minus uh, 17,142.86. And then in these parentheses, we get e to the minus 0.07m minus, and then we can simplify e to the 0. That puppy is just 1. All right, let's divide this junk on the other side. And here's what we get. Okay, we get minus 0 0.2333 equals e to the minus 0 0.07m minus 1. All right, dudes, this is looking a lot better now. And to finish the problem, all we're going to do is do the usual stuff for solving for m. First, let's add 1 on both sides. So you add 1 over here, and we're going to get plus um, 0 0.7666. Equals e to the minus 0 0.07 m. And now, dudes, our unknown is trapped inside an exponent, so let's just go ahead and take natural log of both sides. Natural log of the left, when you take the natural log of the right, it cancels out that pesky e, and you get minus 0 0.07 m. And then, dudes, the last thing you're going to do to solve for m is take that natural log, dude, 0 0.7666, and divide by negative 0.07. And when you do that, you get about 3.8. All right, dudes, we finally solved this puppy. The answer that we got was 3.8. Now let's scroll back up and remember what that means. What that means is this. You have to invest this money and like receive money at this income rate for 3.8 years in order to turn your $1,200 into $4,000.
actually that's not that bad of a deal. All right, so let's go through it one more time. We set up the integral. Now, once we have the unknown trapped inside the integral bounds, there's really nothing else you can do. You have to go ahead and evaluate this integral by hand, and that's the only thing that'll let you solve for that value m. So you go ahead and you pull out that 1200 because it's a constant. You take the antiderivative, evaluate it from zero to m, simplify everything that you can, and then just start solving for that puppy. And in the end, you're gonna take a natural log, and it's, you know, it's a lot of stuff, but it's really not that bad. All right, dudes, that's it for this problem. Hasta la mañana.